Hi, everybody. This is Robin Switzer with KetoCon, and I am here with Danielle and David Stanton from Fuel Forever. And they have a great story to tell us about their backgrounds with their health and starting a great company. And they are one of our sponsors at KetoCon this year. So welcome, Danielle and David. Yeah, Thank we're you. Having so uh, we've been talking a little bit prior to this recording about our philosophies with um, with diet and fasting and diet dogma, and we'll get into all of that today. But I wanted to start with giving Danielle and David an opportunity to share a little bit about their health journeys and what got them to start this company and their great products. So I'll turn it over to you and let you take it from there. Great. Thank you. So I'm Danielle and we, David and I, um, we have an exciting story and that one we met later in life and we both had this journey of overall health and uh, fitness and mental health. And with my own journey, I struggled with depression and I had um, chronic insomnia and with his experience with RN and his background with health and wellness, we really worked on getting me as natural as possible. And with that experience and me healing, um, I went from, you know, addicted to uh, Ambien to now solely based on our sleep supplement with magnesium. I went, I, I went through intermittent fasting to heal depression. I mean, there's so many little tools that I use and with his background, we just said, what could we do to educate people that there's other ways to heal besides going down the road of Ambien or an antidepressant. What what can we do? Like, and let's let's you know talk about fueling our body with the right ingredients. And then all of a sudden we said, fuel forever. And we <laughs> from with his experience with RN and, and his compounding, we created supplements that we take and that we felt that could be used forever. Interesting. So David, you're, you're a registered nurse. Yes. Is that what, okay. Nurse, uh, 22 years. Um, the past 14 years of that, I've solely been working in just the GI gastrointestinal area. Um, and growing up, I worked in my dad's pharmacy and he was a compounding pharmacist. And so mm -hmm. I got a lot of firsthand experience on sourcing the right ingredients and healthy ingredients. And he really told me how important it is for people to put good, healthy ingredients in their body. And, you know, when I met Danielle, she had some health issues. We worked on them together. Like she said, we, we formed this company on ingredients that we can, that we can pass on to people and maybe try to teach people how to fuel their bodies with good ingredients. And one of the major components of our company is not just putting in, putting ingredients in your body is what not to put in your body. And right. those include things that maybe you you know, you don't necessarily need. It also includes stuff that causes a lot of gastrointestinal issues. Um, and those are things that I focus on not to put in our supplements. Um, and you know, as we all know, the gut and the brain has a very tight connection. So there's, there's a lot to talk about on that as well, but um, sure. yeah. So, Interesting that you have, that you came from a background um, where your family was, or your father was a compounding pharmacist, because um, that certainly leads the way to you having a uh, an interest in it naturally, because it's what you know before you even go to develop an interest in something. When you, um, I'm thinking about compounding and all the ingredients that go into building uh, any type of supplement um, and I know a lot of people who just go on Amazon and buy supplements that because of, you know, it says that it's magnesium or iron or vitamin D. And I also know the dangers of doing that uh, because you don't really understand where the company is sourcing their ingredients from and how pure they are is it, how do you go about doing that? How, how do you find resources for ingredients that, uh, that you feel are um, safe. And, yeah. and that was a big thing for me because I did, because I was suffered from, from mental health issues. I was very careful on eliminating as much processed 
and heavy metals. I mean, that was something that was sure. very important to me. So I said to him, it, you know, when we create these supplements, they have to be as clean as possible. Right. And that was a big thing in, in finding, you know, third-party testing, a company that does third-party testing, having this certificate of analysis that we feel comfortable mm -hmm we were not going to put something out there that had something that we, that we would not take or that our kids yeah. or our parents these would not take. These are things sure. you check people, you know, they'll say, oh yes, we'll give you this certain supplement. We can source it for this much money. We say, Let, let's see the certificate of analysis. We look at it, make sure it's compliant, make sure that it's, you know, has the least amount of heavy metals um, that, that, you know, possible. Mm -hmm. And then we, there so we build our products yeah. from the ground up and we source the highest quality you know quality ingredients right that was that was also a one of our sleep supplements we added a natural uh chelation of removing heavy metals with cilantro and chlorella because we wanted just the emphasis of just removing as much as we can from because mm -hmm. we have so much in foods that as much as we can naturally get rid of the better right right yeah, I, you know, it didn't occur to me to ask you that question at all. And it just kind of popped up into my head because I know I've in the past shopping for supplements, that's something I learned over the years is that there's a big difference between, you know, what you buy on the shelf at Walmart and what someone is compounding themselves because they are, uh, they're having to stand behind the quality of their, of their resources. So I think that's, that's pretty amazing. Do you want to talk a little bit about um, your current product line? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want me to go? You, you go. Want to I, I can start. I'll start with the fasting supplement. So yeah, the fasting supplement we made it like us, like I was telling you earlier, um, we were in the intermittent fasting and um, I felt like I just needed something to help fuel my fast. I was doing a lot of, I actually made it for the fasted athlete. That's where it started. I was working out while I was fasting. Mm -hmm. I was, was, um, doing cardio, I was lifting weights and I felt like I didn't want that, um, to, I felt like I didn't want the intermittent fasting or the fasting period to interfere with muscle retention or gaining muscle. So I, you know, started researching ingredients and um, essential amino acids are a vital, you know, uh, ingredient to maintaining and, and gaining muscle and as well as creatine is very good for the, it's very good for muscles. It's very good for the gut. It's very good for the brain. So um, I started looking and there's nothing really available that had all these things combined. And so right. I started making a recipe, you know, I started, Compounding. I was like, <laughs> You started compounding. <laughs> I'm for big food creatine and creatine does not break the fast. And so we wanted to incorporate that as well as well as for the mental health components to that creatine has and the muscle side. So everything kind of has that like, okay, muscle and then mental health or gut support. So there's all of, so every ingredient is there for a reason. It's just not like, let's just bottle it up. It's all there. And it's not yeah. like the creatine, like everybody knows it when they take creatine, it's mostly associated with bodybuilders and people who are trying to gain muscle. Um, and the regular dose of that is five grams per day, minus the loading phase. Um, we put a lower dose in there, it's 2.5 grams. So it can be taken, if you want to take five grams, you just take two scoops. Sure. Um, but it's made for everybody. So everybody can just take a little bit every day. You know, it's just, a, it's just to add to those, um, reserves that you have already and it's especially you know beneficial for vegetarians or people who don't get enough creatine through meat in their diet so they can supplement with this um because i know a lot of vegetarians who also fast right um and but for other reasons than just weight loss they do it for religious reasons also so and i, and I always tell them you know creatine is good for your for your health because you're not getting it because you don't eat meat so right um yeah, I have some I have some some good followers on on that subject. How does someone know if they need to supplement with creatine? I mean, so I'm just going to use myself as an example. So um, I follow a predominantly meat based diet. Um, and when I say meat, I mean meat, fish, mm -hmm. some poultry, rarely maybe some pork. But 
um, predominantly red meat diet and I don't eat very many vegetables. I do eat things like um, cucumbers and olives and sauerkraut, stuff like that. But, uh, but I'm 60 and uh, I am fighting tooth and nail to maintain muscle. Mm -hmm. So how does someone know what, how to, if they need additional creatine and how much they, and how much they need, is that something that you should test for? Well, you, you can't necessarily, I don't think you can necessarily test for it. I mean, you can test for creatinine levels, which are the mm -hmm. breakdown of creatine. Um, but in my opinion, as long as you don't have any underlying like health issues, I think everybody should take creatine. Yeah. I think that okay. it's a it's the most studied supplement on the market that you can, that people can get their hands on. Um, it's, it's good for, um, cognition as well as, you know, I mean, of course, everybody, again, you know, relates it to muscle and muscle building, but it's, it's good for, um, numerous other things. It won't make you gain weight in a low dose. Um, a, a lot of people are, you know, they, they think that they take creatine that makes them get bloated or, or makes them... Yeah um, gain weight, um, maybe in the first few days it may, but in the long term, it, it's not going to make you gain weight, but to an answer your question, I think that, um, pretty much anyone needs it. Pretty much yeah. anyone. I mean, there's so many benefits to it rather than, sure. you know, versus the, the risk of taking it. It's, um, and there's so many positive studies on it, That that's another reason why, I mean, there's just so much literature for the positives that it should, I mean, I heard my mom's 80 and I, I, I make her take it. So. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. So, um, so we know a little bit about the fasting supplement. Um, when you said fasted athlete, I'm assuming that you meant like intermittent fasting, not like extended fasting as yeah. an athlete. Yeah. 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 So, um, is this a product that someone who does extended fasting could also use? Yes. Okay. It's also a product that you can take if you're not fasting. It's just an electrolyte supplement, you know, every okay. day. Yeah. And we don't fast every day, every single day, but we take our supplement to get all the ingredients to right. know, fuel the body with the amino acid, the electrolytes, and the creatine. So it's it's something uh, with the dosage of the creatine, it's 2.5 milligrams. So 2.5 grams. I'm sorry, 2.5 grams. So it's a, a dose that is. It, every day you could take or you could sure. double it that makes sense okay yeah. interesting uh, well i'm really looking forward to trying it um so you want to talk a little bit now about uh, the other supplements yeah, and so maybe some plan what you have planned for ketocon yeah so sleep is um this one has been really important to me because honestly i don't know i if i would be where i am today with my sleep journey of insomnia and ambience so our sleep supplement has four different um, parts of magnesium glycine lemon balm ashwagandha and the cilantro and the chlorella so it has a nice gentle um it relaxes you with the glycine and the lemon balm and the ashwagandha. And then the magnesium really gets you into that sleep. And for someone that's perimetopausal who has those nights where I'm, um, have a hot flash or something, I will say for me, for my own experience, I get a deep, a deeper sleep, a longer sleep. And I sleep through the night when I, there's nights where I forget, I go, Oh, I went to bed early and I forget. And I wake up I'm like I didn't take sleep. And so for me, the power of magnesium mm, and, and is, it's been huge. It's been life changing. So yeah. that for me is like, I love that. I always thank him. I'm like, thank you for helping me sleep. <laughs> and I'm like everybody else where I forget, you know, sometimes you forget to take your supplements. Like mm -hmm. I go, I do too. And I go a couple nights and I can see the difference. So I, um, so we're very happy with the sleep supplement. And we could have made both of them, you know, everything's, in, you know, you have options. You want to make something in a powder form or a pill form. You make mm -hmm. it in a pill form, you don't have to worry about flavoring. Um, but then you, you know, we wanted to eliminate any, any um, glycerins or anything that we have to make capsules with. Sure. And, yeah. I, and, and to be honest, in the, initially we made the products for us. And I like mixing powders with water. I like drinking flavored waters. 
Um, and the sleeping supplement is a powder as well. So you mix it and it's berry flavored and you mix it in a, just a little bit of water and it, you know, it's, it's sweet. You can drink it. You can drink it as a hot tea if you'd like. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's a good supplement. It's, um, yeah. it works. And then we have in the summer in July, we will have our three different, uh, unique collagen protein bars. So, oh, awesome. Yeah. And they, we were in search of a clean, a clean ingredients for us. Not everyone, we didn't want whey. We didn't want, um, sucralose. So for us, clean meant not having those ingredients. And so we created a very, really taste like it tastes really good and three different flavors. And so, and it has 15 grams of protein. So we're very happy. This is coming in uh, about probably July. So we're excited. Wow. Very exciting. Um, are, are those going to be available at KetoCon or no, Probably too soon? Not. We, may, we might be able to have some samples um, for that event, but it's nice. It has some MCT oil and it's a good, good, Great. good fats. Everything in there, again, is put in there for a reason. And that's kind of how we do everything. You know, it's really interesting because one of the things, one of the common themes all of these years that we've been doing this event is that. I would say at least 80, maybe higher percent of the companies that come to this event started with a very similar mission. They found a need for something that they created for themselves and took that passion for building something for themselves and turned it into a business, which is why I think there's so much collaboration that happens during the event, because it's people like you and I who saw a need for something for themselves and built it out. I mean, that's really why I started doing this in the first place, because I was following a nutritional protocol that, well, in 2017, there just weren't a whole lot of people doing it or talking about it. Um, you know, if you think about the ketogenic or low carb protocols, they were around prior to that. I mean, Dr. Atkins made sure of that, but um, it wasn't widely accepted. So if you, I remember the first time I went to a sushi restaurant and I heard somebody um, nearby ask for sashimi instead of sushi because they didn't want the rice. And prior to that, that was probably 2018, maybe prior to that, if you asked for something without a bun or without the rice or no potatoes, they looked at you sideways and yeah. they bring it to you anyway. Right. So um, I, that's why I start got so passionate about this. It worked so well for me. I wanted to get involved in the space. So that's how I got here. And and it, it's really the same story for everybody that all, all of these companies, in one way or another, there was someone who saw a need for something in their own health journey and built it out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So um, I'm super excited to have you guys joining us. Is Is there... Is there anything that you are planning for your uh, your booth or that you want people to know about that you'll be doing during KetoCon? David's going to do some line dancing. No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm actually from Texas. So I, I am excited to go back. Um, um, yeah, but we're I don't know if we have anything special planned. We are going to be having um, samples of our yeah, product. Samples. We'll we'll be there. Yes. Um, you know, we're, we're excited to meet everybody and collaborate, like you said, to meet other yeah. vendors and other owners of companies. I'm just talking right. to people and educating them. And you know, I had my own journey, and um, now I'm 47 and I'm happy and healthy. And you know, the power of of just food and the power of fasting and the power of sleep. And there's so many different tools mm -hmm. that we're excited that it is possible to have that. And, and so, and keto was a big part of my journey. I did keto for a year, very strict. Um, I Googled best diet for mental health. And it, I learned so much about keto and mental health hospitals and and for me, it really helped me during a time that I, I really needed that extra support. So it was, again, another tool. It doesn't work for everybody, but when it works, sure. it's it's pretty powerful. So right. you have to find what works for you. And for me, I just didn't give up. And now we're, we're excited to, to educate people and trying to help them through that, you know, the later forever, something you can really do forever. Right. That's part of our mission. 
a lifestyle as opposed to yeah. a temporary protocol to fix a problem, a perceived yeah. problem. Yeah. So I think what you'll find is that, I mean, obviously everybody who's there is there for a reason. They're passionate about their health. And our messaging has been pretty clear why we do this event. So we're educating people, trying to form community and trying to, it's kind of like equal parts education, but then celebration. So the social side of this event has always been pretty prominent. People come back year after year because they want to see the people that they never see during the year. They only see at this event. I am not from Texas. I'm from Florida. Um, and we keep the event in Texas because that's where we started. And it seems to be known as an Austin event now. Uh, and we'll continue to do it there. So uh, I think that what you'll find is that the community is very passionate. You'll, you'll get a lot of questions about your products. Um, from what I've heard and what I've seen, I know there'll be a lot of interest in it. And um, you'll, if you want to, while you're there, we, uh, we're we going to be doing a cold plunge experience. So you can wow. take an ice bath if you'd like. Yeah. Um, We've body spec will be there with four different vans doing DEXA scans during the show. Yeah, for people. Love that. Um, we have a guy coming in. This is new this year. And I mean, it's really more of a, an entertainment. Um, he found a lot of uh, healing and health improvements from following a carnivore diet. And he's so passionate about it that he bought an RV and painted it as if it was um, like he divided up the parts of the RV to make it look like they were cuts of meat. Oh, and he crazy. calls himself the RV carnivore. And that um, RV will be on the showroom floor this oh, year. Nice. Um, we, yeah, I, you know what I love is I love me. I, I follow so many different people. I follow hardcore fasters or carnivore or, you know, all the, and I just think it's, I love when people are passionate and then also feel it, it all ends up it's kind of everyone believes in the same thing it, mm -hmm. at the end it's just the less processed foods the less yeah. and it so I feel like if we could just get to come together because there's so much like everyone's like no don't do this but at the end of the day it's we all kind of have the same philosophy as less just natural from the earth or you know just good protein sources so I'm excited yeah. Well, great. Um, well, we're excited to have you. I'm looking forward to seeing you both in person. Um, and if people want to find you on social media, where would they go? We are at fuel forever um, underscore for um, Instagram. And we also have a TikTok fuel forever as well. And that's fuel with the number four. Four. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And your website is? Uh, we're saying www.fuel, the number four, E V E R, at, uh, dot com. Awesome. Okay. Fuel forever. Fuel forever. So thank yeah. you both so much for your support of KetoCon and for coming this year. We're excited to have you joining us and um, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. We can't wait. Yes. <laughs> I want to give you a, uh, the new lemon lime flavor fast. Uh, I think I'm going to jump online today and go get grab it. <laughs> that way I don't have to wait. Yeah, lemon line's not there yet. So I would love to give that to you. Okay. So, okay. We'll do yeah. that then. All right. Thank you guys so much. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Ryan. Take care.